One night I could not sleep. Let's see. It's one of the things I ended up with from the military was insomnia. And I found a YouTube video of a guy making flags out of pine strips and I made that flag right there. The next day I just figured I can do this. And 21 years being in the Coast Guard and around the ocean and the water all over the world, I like to bring it into my work. The waves and the boat cleats for handles. It's definitely therapy. It's definitely an opportunity to kind of step away from real life and step into a kind of a safe space. All right. I think a lot of veterans and artists, it's, it's the same way. Also, it's given me a purpose, furthering a purpose that I already had through service to others, and that was finding the VFW. Patriotism, I think, is, is alive and well in Monroe. We really wanted our post to be something that was an extension of the community. It wasn't just a place that was closed in and, and closed off, but rather it was a piece of the fabric of Monroe. It's really neat to have barn quilts as art hanging on the wall. I mean, it, it doesn't get more, you know, uh, Monroe than that. We're the only art gallery in Monroe run by the VFW. A lot of the art is indicative of a patriotic theme or dealing with uh, struggles and mental health issues and things like that. We have art from veterans, we have local artists, we have a single mom who kind of conveys that battle with the darkness, with, with mental health. The hope is to give local artists and veteran artists a place where they feel safe enough to share part of their story. You know, kind of like veterans. We got all these, these rough patches that we clean out and make them pretty again with just a little help. So turned out pretty cool. Post homes are typically just that. It's, it's a home for a VFW post, merely just a building that the, the VFW members meet in. Dave Siverite is another veteran artist who took a photo on canvas there. My hope is the little bit of change we started doing five, six, seven years ago will continue to make this art gallery and then also this VFW post successful for years to come. Yeah, this is very much about giving veterans a place to feel safe. It also gives us an opportunity to celebrate our community. We want to be that staple in the community. We want to be a piece of the fabric of Monroe for a long time to come. Help us uncover the true gems of Washington. Have a story idea? Make sure to share it with us. True Northwest at Fox.com.